Hi there! Oh my god! Smartphones after such a long time. Guess what? We have two Realme devices in the house, 10 Pro plus 5G and the Realme 10 Pro 5G. Now I've been using both these devices for almost a week and it's been pretty exciting. In this video, I'll share the specifications, the user experience and my initial impressions so you can decide which one you should pick. By the way, apart from the names being similar, both these phones are as different as chalk and cheese. They have a different design, they have different chipsets, they have different displays and even different pricing. Let's quickly take you through an unboxing starting with the 10 Pro Plus. Inside we have the SIM ejector pin, the safety guide, a dark grey transparent TPU cover which won't get yellow with time. Really nice quality. Then the phone itself, a USB-C charging cable and an 80 watt SuperWalk charger. Coming to the 10 Pro. Exact same contents, the SIM ejector pin, safety guide, same dark grey TPU cover, the phone itself, USB-C charging cable and a 33 watt SuperWalk charger. Now if you observe, the Plus variant comes with an 80 watt charger while the Pro variant comes with a 33 watt charger. Let's have a closer look at the phones. Here's the Realme 10 Pro Plus 5G. It's got that premium feel from the moment you see it. It comes with a curved display that just blends in so well. This is the nebula blue color, the back is made of polycarbonate and it has this nice design that reflects differently when the light hits it. Matte finish, so no fear of fingerprints. Triple camera setup, yes, even though it looks like two cameras, the lower module has two cameras. 108 megapixel Samsung HM6 sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel macro. Also worth mentioning how thin and light this phone is, 7.6 mm and 173 grams to be precise. The best part is, it still houses a 5000 mAh battery, which is truly impressive. Here's the Realme 10 Pro 5G. This is a totally different design. The frame is completely flat, which is really nice to hold in your hand. This is the hyperspace color. Check out that reflection design. So cool. Also remember, this is a fingerprint magnet. It's almost impossible to keep clean, so I would advise you keep the cover on. It comes with a dual camera setup, 108 megapixel Samsung HM6 sensor and the 2 megapixel portrait sensor. Alright, coming to the display. So the 10 Pro Plus 5G comes with a 6.7 inch curved Full HD Plus AMOLED display and this is a 10 bit panel which looks gorgeous. The color reproduction and blacks are just perfect. The chin bezel is just 2.3 mm thin which is the narrowest on any curved display smartphone. Coming to the 10 Pro, it comes with a 6.72 inch Full HD Plus LCD display and it's surprisingly vibrant for an LCD display, almost giving you an illusion of an AMOLED panel. But what put me in awe are the ultra slim 1mm bezels on the top and sides. Trust me, you can barely see them. In fact, the bezels are so slim that they put the earpiece in the top frame. Very cool. Both support 120Hz adaptive refresh rate, so it adjusts the refresh rate depending on the content you are watching. It definitely helps extend battery life. Both house the same 16 megapixel selfie camera in the center, which blends in really well if you're using a dark wallpaper. Not a hindrance in any way. Now the best part of a curved display is the feel of content sliding in. It feels so real and seamless. Also, it makes the phone feel a lot more compact and slim in comparison to flat frames. However, the biggest con being accidental touches. But Realme has the X-Touch anti-mistouch algorithm which increases the anti-mistouch area by 20% on the edges, decreasing mistouches across the board. It really helps. Then world's first OLED display to receive Rheinland flicker-free certification. Hardware level low blue light that protects your eyes without that yellowing effect. Watching movies and your favorite videos are a delight on both these phones. The black levels definitely stand out along with more vibrant colors on the Pro Plus variant, but the 10 Pro 2 holds its own. Both have dual stereo speakers and they sound great, but the 10 Pro is a tad better. It's louder and even clearer than the 10 Pro Plus. Now the other benefit of an AMOLED display is always on board, which works really well on the 10 Pro Plus variant. It shows you the time, your notifications and second benefit is under display fingerprint scanner. It's fast and responsive, but I wish it was placed a little higher, not a deal breaker though, but still worth mentioning. The 10 Pro on the other hand has a side capacitive fingerprint scanner, which also works perfectly well. 
the placement is ideal to be used with either hands. Then both phones are running Realme UI 4 over the latest Android OS 13. 120Hz makes sure swiping and scrolling through websites and social media apps is a breeze. It's equally smooth on both. But sadly, the interface is infested with bloatware. A lot actually. There's Moj app, Josh app, Snapchat, ShareChat, long list. But the saving grace is you can delete the apps that you don't need. Coming to the hardware. So the Realme 10 Pro Plus comes with a Dimensity 1080 chipset. It's a 6 nanometer chipset that performs pretty well. The unit we have comes with 8 GB LPDDR4X RAM and you can further expand dynamic RAM by another 8 GB, giving you a total of 16 GB RAM. Opening closing apps, multitasking, all works super snappy and really responsive. Moving to the Realme 10 Pro. Now this one comes with the Snapdragon 695 and we all know it's a tried and tested silicon. Here too we have 8GB LPDDR4X RAM and again 8GB dynamic RAM. Overall very similar performance. Talking about performance, here are the benchmarks we ran. We got an Android to score of 5,11,539 on the Pro Plus variant and 4,16,504 on the Pro variant. Both have UFS 2.2. And here's the disk speed. Here we can see that the Pro Plus variant performs a lot better. And finally, the CPU test. We got 85% on the Pro Plus variant and 90% on the Pro. We played Call of Duty on both these phones and the performance was actually very close. You can definitely notice that the Pro Plus variant is a tad more responsive, but it's very negligible to the naked eye. Also remember, neither of these phones are hardcore gaming phones. But still, both these devices are pretty good for casual gaming. The Realme 10 Pro Plus variant supports dual 5G SIM card slot. We are using a Geo SIM and it did provide a pretty solid 5G network as well. The Realme 10 Pro comes with a hybrid SIM card slot. Two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and one micro SD card. Here too, 5G worked really well. Coming to the battery. Now both these phones come with 5000mAh battery but the 10 Pro Plus supports 67 watt charging. It takes about 70 minutes to charge from 0 to 50% while the 10 Pro supports 33 watt which takes about 29 minutes to charge from 0 to 50%. Bottom line, both these phones will easily last you a day from medium to heavy use. Coming to the cameras. Now here are some shots taken from the 108 megapixel sensors of both these cameras. These are side by side images and you can see they've got very similar output. The color reproduction is good. Very clear and crisp daylight shots. Blue skies with excellent dynamic range. In fact, even moving vehicles are captured very clearly. Details are captured pretty well on both the phones. On the Pro Plus, we also get an 8 megapixel ultra wide, which does a decent job. It loses out on some details, but still very much usable. Pro Plus also comes with a 2 megapixel macro sensor. You can't get too close to the subject, but still does the needful. Here are some portrait shots taken from the rear camera. It overexposes the images on both with poor edge detection too. Frankly, very surprising. Here are some 16 megapixel selfies and these look amazing. Good skin tones, natural colors, maintaining all the details. Also really good edge detection for portrait shots. Finally, coming to the video, well, you can record 4K videos at 30fps on the Pro Plus variant while Full HD at 30fps on the Pro. Better video quality on the Pro Plus but a little shaky. Average quality on the Pro but very stable. Overall decent camera performance on both the phones. Alright, so in my initial impressions, both of these are solid devices. The 10 Pro Plus comes with a smart curved AMOLED display. The reason I say smart is it helps reduce accidental touches drastically. Then it's got a slim and light design and pretty good performance. The 10 Pro has an LCD display but almost a bezel-less display. Flat sides and those amazing ultra boom speakers. Make your pick. Now we don't have the price and availability details at the time of making this video but you can expect the 10 Pro Plus to be priced somewhere between 20 to 25,000 and the 10 Pro to be priced around 17 to 20,000. You can find the exact pricing in the description along with the purchase links. If you like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.